He was sleeping at the foot of the bed. He knows a lot about that. He was one of 15 children. He was the only one that could sleep across the foot of that bed and not have his feet hang out. He joined the Opry back in 1948. He celebrated his 62nd anniversary in the Grand Ole Opry this past November just before Christmas. Nine years old. Just turned 90 years old in December as well. He still knows his own yard. He's got a yard man doing all the rest of the work, but he's got a writing lawnmower and he loves to write it. And he just hits the high spots one day and we go out another day and hit some more high spots. Last summer I was coming down there. Bridge as we were now at the end of the summer, and he was headed up just inside the fence. And when he got to the gate, he stopped and parked it. He went out, got on the bus, and shake hands, sat on the bus. He said, How are you doing today, Mr. Dickens? He said, I'm doing pretty good. I just had a lady stop her car and came up and asked me how much I charged to mow the yards. <laughs> I said, Well, what'd you tell her? He said, I told her the lady that lives here lets me sleep with her once in a while. <laughs> The high price yard man, isn't he? We saw him at the opera like a few nights ago. I saw him at the opera, yeah. So he comes from such a big family, 15 kids, because his mama was hard of hearing. <laughs>